Hey guys, good morning. Hey, today we're gonna to take a look at our RV refrigerator. We have a Keystone Cougar 2020 model. It's only about two years old. And we're out here boondocking in Montana. As you can see, this is just gorgeous out here. But the issue we're having is this refrigerator is not igniting correctly. Um, we're, because we're out here boondocking, we're not on shore power. The refrigerator is running off propane and it takes about six to 12 times clicking uh, whenever it goes to try to ignite and then it finally ignites. So we got to remedy that issue. And I'm pretty sure I know what the issue is. Uh, I used to work in the home building industry and I used to deal with appliances all the time where the thermocoupler gets dirty, gets carbon built up on it and needs to be cleaned. So we're gonna pull this apart, check it out and see if that's what the issue is. Let's do it. All right, we're just gonna take this off. This is a uh, cover that basically acts as a wind block. Going to remove this cover three screws easy to do that just pulls right out of there and then here's another cover down here that needs to be removed one screw for this cover And uh, one thing you're gonna wanna do before you start working on this, as far as cleaning the thermocoupler at least, is to turn off the refrigerator. But before we do that, we're gonna pull this cover out. It kind of just wiggles out. And kind of, it's a little tough to, to remove, but you can see how that pulls right out. And then here's the thermocoupler right here. All right, so Ann's inside. She's gonna turn this on and we're gonna take a look and see how this is lighting. You can see the burner is right here. All right, it lit pretty quick that time. Burner's going good. Got some nice blue flame in there, that you can see. So I don't suspect that there's any like dirt or anything in there causing issues. If there was dirt or rust in there, it would have a yellow uh, tint to the flame. You see that thermocoupler, how heated up it is. The end of it's glowing red. Now, there's actually some material on the end of that thermocoupler that I can see because it shouldn't have a big uh, bulb on the end where it's glowing. So that needs to be cleaned. So we're gonna clean that off. All right, so to remove this thermocoupler, there's one screw right here that we'll remove and we should be able to pull that right out. So you can see that is got a lot of buildup on it right there. What I'm going to do Twist that around like that and clean it without removing it, I think. Yeah, I guess I could. I could pull that right out. That's not a problem. So, give you a better look. I mean, that's got a lot of buildup. All right, so to clean this, I'm just going to use a little bit of sandpaper. Um, I just use a fine grit sandpaper. I'm not even sure what this is, but so. Just take that, just doing that alone, pulled that big piece of material off the end, the build up, and then I just go back and forth with the sandpaper 
to clean that off. All right, that's it. Nice and clean. At the end as well. Good measure. Yeah, it looks like this is just going to stay exactly where it was. Whenever I reinsert that screw, it'll reposition that back perfectly. metal so I'm going to put some pressure here in order to tighten that down that's in there pretty good all right I'm going to turn on the refrigerator again see how this lights up okay go ahead look at that first click All right, well, that was definitely the issue. Um, that big ball of carbon on the end needed to be cleaned off. So really easy fix, uh, something many of you can do on your own, I'm sure, if you're handy enough. And once again, be very careful when you're working with propane. Don't wanna have any problems. You know, it is obviously a little dangerous whenever you're working with that. So take all the necessary precautions, turn off the propane at the tank if you need to and uh, make sure that you're safe whenever you're doing these kind of repairs. So, all right, hope this helped you out and we'll see you on the next one.